People have strong beliefs, I think, about uh, whether something is good if it's natural or bad if it's unnatural. What do you think about that? Well, this is a romantic notion that is a complete fallacy. It's a lie, all right? Uh, people think that being natural means being good, and everything must be natural today, from your shampoo to, I don't know, the linens in, in, your, in your bed, all right? You know, even, even toilet paper, you know, is advertised as all natural, all right? The truth is that nature is not good and nature is not bad. You know, nature is just neutral. There's nothing more natural than an earthquake. And that's not very good. You know, and there's nothing more natural than malaria. And that's not good either. So being natural doesn't mean being good. But you know, today, everything, especially on TV, there is this romantic notion that if we put natural on a product, call it a yogurt or a pair of socks, I'm going to sell more. And that's where it all comes from, you know, just advertising. I, I was looking the other day on some, there is some trend now in the, in the US and some parts of Europe that people are now saying, we got to drink the milk absolutely natural as it comes out of the cow, without even pasteurizing it or even boiling it. There, being, there are now official signs by the US government saying like, what well, signs, I mean advertising say, do not do that because there are huge amount of cases of listeria by getting the natural milk out of the cow without any kind of manipulation. Just because of the concept of, it can be any better than just out of the cow, drink it. Thank you. So why do you think we, uh, why do you think we have a propensity towards liking things that are natural? Because it sounds good and it looks good and it makes you feel good about it, all right? It's natural, so and there's nothing artificial. It's like artificial things are bad, natural things are good. But you know, artificial things like electricity is not that bad. And that's very artificial, all right? Artificial things like vaccines are not bad. And they are extremely artificial. But in general, you, you, you conceptuate like natural means good, artificial means bad. Nothing natural can harm me because it comes from Mother Nature. But what you don't understand is that Mother Nature is not your mother, it's the mother of yourself and the mosquitoes that give you malaria, all right? And the lion that can eat you in the middle of Africa. When they invented the microwave, people wouldn't take it, the people wouldn't buy it. Because something that can heat up things in 10 seconds, that can't be good, all right? So with this myth going around that microwave would make food radioactive. And people wouldn't buy it, and now there is a microwave in every house. So there is a tendency to resist innovation if you have a perceived risk. So what would you say to somebody uh, that says the risks for genetically modified food are just too high? Well, the risk is too high is a perception that uh, I don't find it justified by science and by facts. We've been growing GM food now for a long, long time and there isn't any reports saying that there's any, any bad consequence for human health. Um, by the way, there are plenty of reports that normal foods you know, end up in food poisoning. You know, I just heard today that uh, um, a couple of Australian cities have uh, died in, in Bali out of food poisoning, eating in a restaurant. There's no GM there involved, all right? So there is risk in GM, in non-GM, there is risk in everything you do in life. When you cross the street, you run a risk, all right? But if you don't cross the street, you're stuck in a corner, all right? Like, you're gonna go places, you're gonna have to cross the street every now and then. What you do, if you think about the risk, and the consequences and how to minimize the risk and then you take a decision when you're crossing a street you look left you look right you know and say there's no cars i can cross the street all right or you look left and right you see too many cars say i'd rather find another place to cross the street so that's what you do you minimize risk with food it's, it's the same thing gm food you know as a matter of fact the regulation is so strict that gm food are completely tested of everything and normal food are not Therefore, the risk in GM food is a lot less than in normal, what they call normal food. That, by the way, there is no normal anymore. <laughs> what do you mean there's no normal anymore? Well, there is nothing that we eat that is natural anymore. Food has been manipulated for thousands of years. Now, for our convenience, you know, so you can have bananas without seeds, because bananas with seeds are not convenient for humans. Or you have food that is a lot more nutritious. If you go to the original foods, they will always be smaller, have a lot less yield per hectare, and you know, the nutrition is going to be a lot less. By the way, there is this thing going around that, you know, just because they are old, they are better. No. 
things that are old are just older. They're not better by definition. What advice would you give uh, to people about how they can make better decisions in their everyday life based on your research? Well, you shouldn't get too serious about you know, using science for everything because otherwise you wouldn't end up doing anything in your life, all right? But there are things that may be important for you that you should use science or at least fact-based decisions. Um, my specialty is foods, all right? So there is a lot of food that's being sold in the market with this myth that they are better. Do your research. Find out if they really are. There are some food that are labeled this or that that say they're better, you know, they have less residues or they're more natural. Do a bit of research. Find out the facts. I know you're going to pay twice the price to buy that particular food, but, and you're free, and I, I will respect your decision, but find the facts. If the facts say it's better, go for it. But most of the time, those things are claimed that are unsubstantiated. My name is Jimmy. I think about life. Thank you.